back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you're new, I am a mom of two, stay-at-home mom, and I'm pregnant with my third baby boy due October 27th. Today's pregnancy update is going to follow weeks 25 to 26. I just turned 27 weeks pregnant yesterday, so I'm now 27 weeks almost in the third trimester, which is so crazy. But I'm going to be talking a little bit about what's happened the last couple weeks. You hear some noise out there. Once again, it is my kids. I'm trying super hard to film this video while they're somewhat occupied. But as a stay-at-home mom with kids on two different schedules, it's not always easy. Actually, it's never easy. So I kind of want this video to honestly be super casual because of my kids. It's been chaotic at home, to be honest. Summer has been kind of hard because Kylie's not in as many activities, so we're not kind of up and going in the morning like we usually are. We're kind of just hanging out, trying to keep them occupied and do fun things throughout the day every day. It gets pretty exhausting and a little bit stressful because also trying to fit in filming and doing vlogs and updates, it's a lot. I mentioned this before, I don't know how you mommies that do YouTube do it because it's a struggle, especially being pregnant. There's so much going on. But anyway, I had my 26 week appointment last week, or it's almost been a week now. And I weighed in at 135. I forget what I told you guys I was last appointment. Um, I believe I was 133, and then I went up to 135. So now I'm 135. Um, Everything else seemed good. He measured my belly. My belly measured on track, so that's great. Um, and he scheduled me for my glucose test, so I'm going to be taking that this coming Monday. Um, and I'm taking it at 9.30 in the morning. I wanted to find an appointment that was early because he did put me on a 10-hour food fast. I never fasted before with my other two. I guess this office just does things differently, so I wanted to make sure I wasn't waiting too long in the afternoon to not have anything in my stomach and then to drink a really sugary drink and feel most likely like crap after drinking it. So I am going early and I'm doing my one hour test, praying that everything goes well and I pass it like I did with my other two, but we will have to keep our fingers crossed because you just never know. Sometimes with pregnancy, you can get gestational diabetes and your health could be amazing otherwise. I scheduled my diabetes test, my glucose test, and I think that's the only thing really interesting coming up. It's besides me scheduling my 3D, 4D ultrasound that I can't wait to do. That's elective, of course. Just doing that because I want to. And I heard the best times to um, go to those ultrasounds are between 28 and like 33 weeks around there because that way you can see the baby's cute face, but they're not getting to the point where they're super squished yet. As far as symptoms for me, there's been a lot. So I mentioned last video about my sciatica pain. It has been okay off and on, but I've been having some other pains that I never had in any pregnancy before. Last night, I was getting up to go to the bathroom. It was probably like almost midnight, and I went to pee, and for some reason, sometimes after I get up from peeing, I don't know if it's from my bladder emptying out or if it's just from sitting and then standing up, but I get these sharp, sharp pains on my sides, into my stomach, into my the sides of my stomach, and it hurts for a good minute, and then it goes away. But this time, after I laid back down, I started getting really bad pains in my lower back, and it felt like almost like a muscle spasm, and it literally went from my right butt cheek all the way up into my back, and like felt like a shooting pain that didn't go away for a good 10 minutes. And I actually had to call Travis over to me to kind of help rub it out because I thought it was going to like take over my whole back and it really felt like I wasn't going to be able to move. It's, it was that painful. And I've heard of other moms talking about, you know, having worse pain with subsequent pregnancies. Like this is my third, so I'm expecting my body to just kind of be beaten up by all these pregnancies so far. So maybe that's what it is, but I'm, you know, I got to start really doing some stretches or drinking more water or just, you know, I, I am going to see a physical therapist on Friday. So today's Thursday and I'm going Friday and I saw them before when I was having some back issues before I got pregnant and I'm going back to them now for my sciatica 
and hopefully see them once a week and hopefully get some relief throughout the rest of this pregnancy. So my doctor did write me a referral for the physical therapist and hopefully that really helps because this is rough and it hurts. Speaking of pain, these are some of the things I've been using to help me so far. This is just one of those little plastic mas uh, back massagers and honestly feels so good. I, it doesn't really help me do it to yourself, but Travis, when he comes home, he usually helps me with this. And this, I wanna get an actual heating pad soon. I have to remember to get one, but this is just one of those little heating pads that you heat up in the microwave and it's a, I think it's like a chamomile le uh, lavender one. And it's kind of good for headaches or for your head, but I've been putting it on my lower back and it's been helping a lot at night. And not only does it help with the pain, but it actually really just relaxes me. I love warmth, I love warm baths, I love being under warm blankets. So this really does help me relax and help my back at the end of the night. And my sister, who's had a lot of back issues, she works out like crazy. She's in such amazing shape, but she has some back issues. She gave me her belly band, and this was just kind of a back support in general. I don't know if the pregnancy ones are different. I'm gonna see what my physical, oh my gosh. I'm gonna see what the physical therapist tells me on Friday, but um, for now, this seems to be helping. So I just place it right under my belly like pretty low and hook it and it does make me feel like I have that support and it does take some weight off my back. So my doctor actually recommended this. He said they'll probably give you a pregnancy belly band or girdle he called it, the physical therapist, but my sister gave me hers for now and it honestly seems to be working. Let me know if you guys use one too in your pregnancies. I didn't expect to need one this early on. I thought maybe the very end, but hey, if it's helping, then it's helping. I've noticed some appetite changes in the past week or two. I was saying how I wasn't really craving anything and it was frustrating because I wanted to enjoy food and eat food and really just have those pregnancy cravings, as crazy as that sounds. And I finally, this past week, started wanting to eat everything. And not that that's a great thing, but I kind of felt like normal pregnant. So over the weekend, when Travis was home, we were just hanging out at the house before the pool, and I was literally eating all day long. And everything was good to me. Um, I didn't crave anything specifically, but I definitely was pigging out more than normal. So it's been kind of fluctuating. I'm still having issues finding something that I really want for breakfast that sounds good. Breakfast is just not my thing. I really tend to go more towards lunch foods, like chicken or Sandwiches, I love sandwiches right now, and just little snacks here and there. That's what I go towards more than breakfast. So I have my coffee in the morning, and then I have to kind of force myself to eat a banana or something so I don't only just have coffee in my stomach. As far as mood and emotions go this week, I was doing a lot better. I had like a few amazing days where I was just so happy and felt amazing and at ease with everything and then this week started and my anxiety skyrocketed again. I don't know where it's coming from. I do know pregnancy can heighten anxiety if you already have it. I've mentioned anxiety before. This might end up being like kind of an anxiety channel because I struggle with it a lot and I love watching other moms who I can relate to. So if you struggle with anxiety, especially while pregnant, you're not alone and I was thinking about talking to my doctor about it just to have some options. I've never been on medication before, but if it gets to the point where I feel like it's interfering with my daily life and my family life, then I might have to think of it as an option. But right now I'm just kind of dealing with it the best I can and trying to take it easy every day as best I can, even though your mind thinks a million miles a minute. That's how anxiety works. So um, I've had some of that plus emotional moments. So like last night, I know I'm in the week 27 now, but I just started week 27, so I think this still kind of fits in with 25 and 26. I was just so emotional after having an anxious day that I just, when Travis came home, I couldn't control my tears and I was crying. And yeah, some days are like rainbows and sunshine, other days you're an emotional wreck. And that's just the reality of pregnancy. It doesn't, uh, pregnancy hormones don't affect everyone the same but they definitely affect me a lot, especially postpartum too. So I'm keeping my eyes on that, gonna keep that in mind. It's 
speak to my doctor about it if I have to because life with three little ones is going to be hectic and yeah, I'm going to have to keep that under control. Acid reflux and heartburn is still there. I live on my tums. I might have to get on Zantac. I know that helps more. Um, it's not terrible yet because he has been so low. That's another thing. Um, all his kicks have been very low for a while. And he's just, I've always just been carrying low this whole pregnancy. So I don't know if he's breached right now. I feels like he is, but of course I'm still only 27 weeks pregnant. So he can easily flip around. And I think they start really checking the baby's position by 36 weeks, if I'm correct. So I'm not worried about him being breached, but I definitely feel kicks very low in my belly, almost in like my bladder. It's really weird. I used to get kicks with my other two way up high, like in my ribs. And I literally, he is so low, it's crazy. And that might be another cause for a lot of my pain because he's so low and everything's just pressure. So when I'm in my last trimester and I'm getting very large, I hope I can even walk around with all this pressure that I'm having right now. Okay, this is another one. So I've been having gum pain, and I know that's also very common when you're pregnant. I had it in the beginning, very sensitive gums, bleeding when I was brushing my teeth, but this has gotten worse to where I need to make a dentist appointment just for a cleaning. My two sides of my mouth, these same teeth on opposite sides, the gum above them hurts so bad, and I find myself kind of like with my floss, I have those little flosser sticks, poking into my gums to where it hurts even more, but I like can't stop myself from poking in that spot until they bleed. It's terrible, but I can't figure out why these, only these spots are really sensitive. So I'm definitely gonna have to see my dentist soon and see if they can, you know, just do a cleaning. I know cleanings are very important when you're pregnant because your gums just get really sensitive from all the hormones. This is the last thing I'm going to mention for these past two weeks. I, this is TMI by the way, if you don't like TMI things, then stop watching right now. Um, I have had some hemorrhoid issues. I've had hemorrhoids after, during my pregnancy with Kylie and after, and I've had them a little bit off and on this pregnancy too. Definitely more in the beginning, I had a little bit of bleeding when I was going to the bathroom, and it kind of scared me at first, but then I realized it's coming from that spot when I go to the bathroom and it's when I'm a little bit constipated and I noticed it the other day too and it was quite a bit but I have to remember that even a drop of blood in water in the toilet looks more than what it is and um, I did make sure it was coming from you know the spot the back and it was bright red and you know with it being harder to go to the bathroom when you're pregnant it's, it can be common especially after you have the baby from pushing, but I do also get them while pregnant. Um, I know there's different kinds. I haven't told my doctor about them yet, but I probably will mention it to him at my next appointment. I'm going to see him now every three weeks instead of every four weeks. So it's getting a little closer. When it gets to every week, it's, gonna, it's when it's gonna feel really crazy. But yeah, I think that's everything for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to film more pregnancy and baby videos with you guys. If you enjoyed this video and you are pregnant as well, please let me know. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I love following other pregnant mommies or other mommies in general. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall